Hey friends of the channel, Siani Police here, welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital. We are still on our very first day, we just opened up our clinic at the end of the last episode and today we are going to build quite a few things. We're going to open up the radiology and our testing so that things like that are going to be easier for us to manage because right now we have to go to each of them reassign them to a different doctor and hope that we find out what is going on. So let's assign you to Carol Wilson and do the differential diagnosis. And then since we are still paused, let's go ahead and build our front desk. Now, why do we need a front desk if people can just go to the machine, push the button and uh, go to the doctor. Well, if we have people that come in to have a little bit more of a urgent situation going on, then they can go to the front desk and can be triaged so that they can be sent to a doctor a little bit faster and they don't just wait in here until it is their turn to show up. Now what we can do is we should be able to assign somebody here and here we're looking for somebody that is high in receptionist. Yes, we go with you. You are a early bird, likes to work during the day, clean feet and a hard worker. Yeah, I'm most definitely going to hire you. But then let's go ahead and start building our next department. And that will be the radiology. For the radiology, we need another waiting room. We need an x-ray room. And as you can see, there are a lot of other rooms that we need. So we actually need quite a lot of space to get all of those rooms in. Let's see, x-ray room needs to be a five by five. Six by five, five by four, five by four. So I need to make them at least five wide. Be here. Five, ten. But that is 12, so we go 6, 6. So we have two even rooms here. Then we have our two wide hallway. Go up here and then 5. And then probably another 5 for our next block. But I'm not going to split those up just yet. Now, restroom needs to be a 3x2. So we can put a restroom in here. And the waiting room is a 4x2. So let's do our waiting area here. Yeah, I'm just going to use up one for now. So that's the waiting area. And then the restroom is going to be over here. And of course, we're going to have to put walls around it. And then over here, we are going to... Uh, that was wrong. Those in. And you in between. And of course the info tv let's grab our blue floor no hold on radiology i want to have 
yellow and assign a x-ray room here here we have our large x-ray table we have a office desk over here and yes i'm building them very similar to the prefab because i just like how they do it And let's get our yellow floors in. And here we just need a day tech. We have two with very high radiology let's just go with you for now and here it is another three thousand dollars in thirty thousand dollars in government grant yeah and now if we go to our patient we didn't have a clear diagnosis we now can send her over to get an x-ray done if it is still needed because currently she is doing the differential diagnosis so maybe that already is going to be enough but if not then now we have the possibility to do an x-ray Hey, now we know what it is. So she should go back into the waiting room, go back to her doctor, and then her doctor is going to tell her what she has to do. Oh yeah, and I love that. You sometimes see the doctor playing solitaire. And we have another happy patient. And as you can see, our x-ray tech already has another person coming in to get a few things done. Now we have quite a few more rooms in our radiology that we have to do. We have the CAG room and the MRI. Let's do the MRI here. 5 by 6 uh, CAG would be a 5 by 5 Five by four, five by four, the five by five by five. That would be one. Five by four. And yeah, that's not going to work here. So for now, I'm just going to leave this one open and I'm going to put the CT in here as a five by six. And the same with the this one here is going to be another five by six. Maybe put a common room in here. 
or leave it open if later on we need more. I think cardiology is one that is being used quite a lot. Speaking about the common room, let's just go ahead and set this common room up. So we are going to need a couch. Couple kitchen cabinets. We need a dining room table. So people can sit down and eat. We need a coffee maker. We need a sink. Some lockers. A small coffee table with a TV on. And a bookcase. Oh, forgot the fridge. Now we have that common room set up. But that means if our staff is getting tired, they can head over there. Like this one here, he is already heading over. Now to end this episode here, let's make things look a little bit less boring. So on the outside, I think this brick actually looks pretty nice. Let's pull that around here and all the way up here. Then windows with blinds and actually have to change that so that I can put them all at the same place. Otherwise my OCD is not going to like me. Then in our walls. For the bathrooms, we could do something like that, or aluminum panels. How do they look like? Hmm. Actually, would be nice for the reception. Do that in here. I like that. So reception gets that bathroom. What exterior wall with pattern? I know it's interior, but that looks like a bathroom, doesn't it? I wish there would be a way that you can just select all of the walls in a specific room. Also, let's give this cleaning room a little window so you can see what's going on. Now, for the waiting room. Uh, does that look good? Can we use this one everywhere in our red department? Yeah, I think that wouldn't be too bad. Do you clearly know what is what if you would be a patient? Because over here we we are going to use the same, we're just going to use the yellow stripes. And then usually I'm missing some walls, but you can point those out in the comments. And that is where we are going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by, watching all the way to the end. I hope I see you at the next one. Thank you and goodbye.